I know when it comes to bracketology that the 16 seed is usually the guy that gets thumped in the first round by 25, 30, 40, and by the time we get to the Sweet 16, the Elite Eight, and dare we say the championship game, nobody even remembers the 16 seed. But the Stanchion, Bowman, Jay Swing, I got you. I've got you because I've got a moment in Canuck history that will stand the test of time. Hell, 25, 30 years from now, kids will come out of the womb and the first thing they'll do is they'll look at their mom with that gunk still in their eyes and they'll be like, is it true that somebody had the audacity to say, thank you, Jim? So maybe instead of just the fire Benning and that sort of notion, if you're done with Jim Benning, that's fine. But Jim Benning also did some good things in this market too, right? If you're wearing a, an Elias Pettersson jersey, guess what? That's on Benning's watch. If you're wearing a Quinn Hughes jersey, that's on Benning's watch. How about if you're uh, wanting to turn the page? How about keep it to a thank you, Jim, as opposed to a fire Benning? Thank you, Jim. For what? For what? Kind of reminds me of Braveheart. Every man dies, but not every man lives. Great quote. I remember Shawshank Redemption when Red was getting ready to go down to San Juanteneo, but first he wanted to climb up to the roof and etch his name in beside Brooks. Get busy living, you're goddamn right. That's the kind of quote that the James Sabalski quote gets put into. It stands the test of time. It's one of the greatest quotes in Canuck Twitter history. Thank you, Jim. Thank you for overpaying. Thank you for being so good in press conferences. Thank you for being you. Thank you for allowing Troy Stetcher to walk. Thank you for not calling Chris Tanev and boy, thank you. Or should I say, merci bien, says Tyler to Foley's fans in La Belle Provence. Thank you, Jim, should not be a 16 seed. Hell, this is a thing that should get right through to the final four. I'm sorry, but if you're not voting for thank you, Jim, then you've missed the mark. I'm Rob Fay, and I need your vote for the hashtag that will stand the test of time. Hell, an asteroid's gonna hit this planet, and the only thing that's gonna be left around is viruses, some donkey that was in a barn at the right time, and the hashtag, thank you, Jim. Aliens will one day open up a time capsule, and then all of a sudden, they'll, with their three fingers, they'll open up this one piece of paper, and it will have a hashtag with a thank you, Jim, on it. Maybe they'll name their new planet, thank you, Jim. There's no way that I should be a 16 seed. There's no way that I lose this first round matchup because I've got the one hashtag that will stand the test of time. One more time, everybody. Thank you, Jim.